Hi, and welcome to Tech Talk, where we take a look at what's going on in technology news and offer some insights that should be useful. I'm here with Michael Simon from PC World. I'm Ken Mingus, Executive Editor at Computer World. Michael's just back from Mobile World Congress 2019, so I'm going to pick his brain about what's going, what happened there, and uh, we might even get into a rant about uh, folding phones. Stick around. Okay, so Mike, welcome okay. back. Thanks. You survived. Good to be uh, back Barcelona. in the states. Yes. Yeah, welcome back uh, stateside. Um, a lot of announcements out of MWC as usual. Yeah, and I wanted to see. You know, we we talked about a month ago about things that might be coming up. Was there any kind of theme? I mean, obviously, foldable phones is a big topic out there. There was a, there was a lot of that. 5G. 5G is the thing. The the thing. Well, but it's not a thing yet, right? Like I couldn't. Isn't that the point? <laughs> well. Yeah. It's going to be a thing. It's, right. It will be a thing. I mean, I couldn't walk two feet without seeing a 5G something. Okay. Like it was what? everywhere. Like device? A prototype, a uh, microcell, a uh, banner, a chip, whatever, wh okay. wh what have you. They, it was it was all over the place. They, they even had these little 5G pins that I guess Qualcomm made or somebody. And it would say like 5G Samsung, 5G OnePlus, 5G and this is, Opal. And we're, just for the record, this is real 5G, not the fake 5G that it's, AT&T It's real 5G, is. but it's also in, but it's the, not in here the ether yet. because we don't, there's no networks that can take it. There wasn't even anything real on the f trade show floor, like a couple of- Samsung wasn't showing off its Samsung of, S10 no, no, 5G I saw it, phone. And it's, it's gorgeous and okay. I want one. Yeah. I want the LTE version. Okay. I don't want a 5G one. I don't want to spend $250 more or whatever it is for 5G when I'm lucky if I get it this time next year. I don't even think it'll be here. And then. I don't think I it will be either. I think you're looking at 21, 22 before yeah, it's Yeah, for, really for, for wide widespread use. Uh, adoption. Yeah. E even if, let's say I'm lucky to live in one of the cities like Dallas or something, as soon as I travel outside those, those city limits, I'm back to 4G, and my battery life is taking a hit as it keeps looking for the 5G network that I can't You find. can't turn that off? Well, yeah, I can, but I don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, okay. I don't want to go into my mobile settings and switch <laughs> things I want. I mean, I, I don't think about my no, it, network. It, it, should, it should smartly turn yeah, it off. Yeah, and it will. It? And all of that stuff is going to happen. I Just that Qualcomm is the major, and they're pushed by the carriers. It's, yeah. it's, it's, you know, Qualcomm has the X50 chip right which is in the s10 5g it's in the lg v50 5g or 5 lg v50 which is 5g and it's going to be in a, a, a handful of other phones including the huawei F mate x yeah. which is folding that's the foldable so yeah. that that's the chip we have that's the modem we have now attached to the 855 chip and it's a good modem speeds of up to two and a half gigabits per second which That's sounds, good. Is the standard set? I mean, this is maybe a dumb question, but the 5G standard is set, and so the chips that are being produced now, we're not doing sort of That's, jumping ahead. Well, this is my next my okay. next point. Okay. So they already announced the X55 chip, okay. which is going to be part of, I assume, the, the 865 and a wider rollout, maybe a couple of smattered 855 phones, the Snapdragon I'm talking about, the Snapdragon right, right, the right, processor. Right. That, the, that the 855 is, is what's in the current is the, S10. the right? top of the, the line new, yeah. Snapdragon yeah. processor, yeah. yeah. Now... So the 855 modem, I'm, I'm sorry, the X, I'm, I'm confusing myself. Okay. The X55 modem yeah. has theoretical speeds up to 7 gigabits a second. I like that one. Yeah. I want that one. So if you buy one of these phones, yeah. not this one, yeah. I'm just holding it a as phone. an example. Oh, so yeah. Not an iPhone. Not only for God knows do you get 5G that you can't use. Right. When you can use it, it's going to be slower than the one that, yeah, that's on the market when you get. So wh wh why would you... Why would anyone buy any of these things? And I'll tell you why they would buy them, because they're being duped. Yeah, they're being pushed. And because people yeah. don't know. People don't do this for a living. I mean, I'm-, I'm No, they'll see 5G we're immersed and, in this and, stuff. and think yeah. that they, they'll, they'll see 5G. It's interesting because I had a conversation with Dan Rosenbaum a couple of weeks ago when the S10 rolled out. And we were talking about that. And he was saying specifically, you know, if you're looking to buy the new Samsung S10, don't get the 5G version. You know, you're better off getting this year's right. technology, the latest, greatest now, waiting a couple of years, you know, two or three years maybe when it's time to upgrade and then jumping to In 5G. In fact, when I, I had a hands-on with the, with the S10 5G at Mobile World Congress, and I wrote about it saying, this is, this is the phone I want. It has a 6.7-inch screen, a better camera. Yep. But I, I have to get the 5G version. So not only are these companies pushing out 5G before it's ready. I really, I really do want to use air quotes around 5G right now. I know, you know, because it's okay. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, they're they're, they're putting thing. it in their most desirable, their most desirable products, like the like the Huawei Mate 10 yep. folding, the one that everyone wants. That's yep. 5G. Yeah. 
there's not a there's not a 4G option at a minimal right? cost of what 2600 $2, bucks. <laughs> yeah, for you know for 2600, Tw the damn thing should be able to reach the moon. 2600. I mean, there was like like audible snickers when they showed this. As well, there should the be. Thing. It was you like know, 20, no, what, who's going to buy that? I okay, had but that's, seen it. That's our future rant. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I had seen it the night before, and we were kind of speculating. Me and my the photographer that was there with me, like, man, Samsung says 1980, maybe like 20. When they showed it's that, it's cut site, rate, like, man. Whoa. Yeah, right. Anyway, yeah, we'll get we'll we'll get to that. Yeah, but you know, five G, it's it's super important. Absolutely. What's really funny about it is so like all these companies have these little video montages of what yeah, you can what do. What it's going to do, how fast you can download. It's a movie all or like whatever. yeah, that's all it is. Three seconds to download a movie. I don't care. I haven't downloaded a movie in five years. Right. I don't look at movies on my phone. I'm sure, but I don't. You can you can play games on the go. I can do that now. Yeah. You can shop. Well, I can do that now. Like, show, give me some reason to look forward to this technology other than what you do now will be a little bit faster because that's not what 5G is. Well, this, th doesn't this go back to the point we were making, I think, uh, when we last chatted that we're getting to an end when it comes to innovation? I mean, all right, so it's it's th this year's great phone, but a little faster. Yeah, that's but, it. well, 5G is, that's what they're saying. It'll that's, be smarter. I know it's a smarter It's net. smarter, but it's also like you'll be able to take, like, let's say you're working on... I don't know, some kind of a CAD project. It's like it's a big engineering on my phone. thing. On you my can, phone. Well, you can bring whatever it is anywhere. Yeah. And you'll be getting these, you know, these video uh, download transfer speeds that you get on your Wi Fi uh, faster than your Wi Fi at home. Yeah. Any, everywhere. Yeah. And in that sense, it's a big deal because that will power AI, that will power machine learning, that will power blockchain or whatever vehicle, that is. Vehicle to vehicle. All that other stuff. We can have a whole other story on blockchain. <laughs> I can explain it. But someday. all that stuff, like you won't have to worry about how fast is my network now because five, the, the, the 5G infrastructure will enable the, those those networks yeah. and those um, systems to work everywhere. Emphasis on will. Yes. Though. It's, will it's where, we're road. nowhere near it. Right. And you know, and I also do see a use for it uh, in, I'm thinking here in the States at least, in rural areas. Yes, bringing absolutely. broadband to areas that yes. do not that have, don't have it. They still don't, don't have it. Yeah. They still don't have it. Yeah. But once this is in place, you should, you know, you'll have real broadband well, speeds. that's not, that, I mean, <laughs> they'll have what we have well, now. Right, right. I mean, it's still going to be, 5G is still going to be if you can afford it, just like 4G is, yeah. just like broadband is, just yeah. like gigabit is, all that stuff. You know, it's all great if you have the money for a hundred and fifty dollar monthly bill. I, I do have to ask, since President Trump was talking up six G, yes. any any discussion of six G? I saw okay. nothing. Oh, well, sorry, Donald. <laughs> uh, all right, so five G <laughs> was clearly the the message. Five G was everywhere, everywhere, everywhere at MWC. You know, some devices are rolling out with a version of it. You know, or, or yeah, you know, modems I mean, that will work. None of them are shipping in the near now. Future. We're talking about like but next soon. quarter, but yeah, still, it's this still year, not. later this year. Yeah. And uh, our advice universally is don't do, don't it. do it. Don't do it. Unless right you now. have a ton of disposable income. Unless you, you want to throw away money. Well, speaking but of. But if you're looking to get value for your purchase, which is what we're in the business of guiding right. you guys right. on. Businesses are not going to be jumping not, on this. Not going to no. happen. It's, it's just not. It's not worth it because it's not there. Okay. Speaking of money to blow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Foldable phones. Foldable phones. And now, now here's something that I'm excited. About. Well, then see, I think we we're going to have a little bit of a difference right. of opinion here. I, I'm excited. I think the technology is cool yeah. as a technology proof of concept. I'm not convinced. And it's a, it's this, a little more than a proof of concept. Okay, I'm uh, with you. I'm with it's you. close. Little, little you know what I you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, you know, you can convince me, but I'm not sure what the use case is for foldable phones. So tell me that I'm wrong and why. Well, you're not wrong based on what I what I've seen. Good answer. The the, the Galaxy Fold is yep. the one that uh, I don't know if you saw the photos, but they had it in this ridiculous like reflective box yeah, at Mobile. Uh, yeah. Like. I could barely make out that there was a phone and that there was lights everywhere and mirrors. It was impossible. Kind of makes you wonder why they're doing yeah, it that way. Yeah, they're doing it because there's clear flaws right. with the screen. You mean a we hinge in the middle of a screen a is a problem? A, a, a crease, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was that was apparent when they were doing the demo. And there, there was an article today from, I think, Business Insider that says that you know they're, they're aware and they're working on it. And I'm sure they will. Yep. Listen, there was going to be a lot of issues, right. form factor notwithstanding, with this phone yep. and price yep. and all that other stuff. Yep. However... What's the use case? The use case is that thing right there. Yeah, my iPad. Folding into something like this. This and this and fitting in my pocket. Yes. But you know what? This is not going to fold in half and not in half. become something big. Doesn't like that. Have, why, why are we stopping in half? Fold into thirds? We can, I mean... Trifold phones? We have one... Double the number we, of hinges? There, there's two. It's not about hinges, I don't okay. think. Right okay. now we have two. Yeah. We have two of these things. Yep. When you look at a laptop, so we yep. have a laptop. Yep. We got the iPad. We got like the Like here's... 
all the guts, and this is the screen. Correct. Like the early laptops were insane. Yeah, I know. I remember. And we and we've gotten to this. Yep. So I think the technology it is remar. I, I I got to play like physically play with the Mate Ten. Okay. X. All right. Well, I, I have remember now, what they're calling. I it. will admit that I have not actually laid hands on one and of these things. So tell me. It's I mean, weird because okay. the display isn't glass. Yeah, it's plastic. Right? It's it's Some like sort a polycarbonate polycarbonate of some sort. Yeah. yeah. And it feels like I could you know if Bend I it. dent it yeah. at the at the least. Okay. If I press too hard on it, and there's some resistance when you fold it, and it feels like it's going to break, and it's it's weird. And but the fact that we're at a point in this. This 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 industrial revolution that we're on, that yeah. where we can take a screen and literally fold it in half and blow it, throw it in our pocket, it's amazing. Yeah. And down the road, three years from now, five years from now, once Apple, first of all, Apple, I saw, Apple I read your gonna, piece that Apple needs to get on the, on the stick to, and, and, and get I'm it not because saying Apple that will going, theoretically get the form factor right. That's we right. Think. And I do think that this technology is where we're going. How long are we going to have these rectangular slabs? Five to ten years. Yeah. Yeah. So five years from now. Okay. I want to see every company, every major company, have their version of what a folding phone is. Someone's going to get it right. It's probably going to be Apple. Let's be realistic here, people. Do you think they'll always, you look know, at the, s- look at the watch. slidey kind of slidey kind of thing, fold in half kind of thing? Well, that's what that's kind of what thing? that's that, that's where the brilliance will come into play. Whoever does it, and again, probably Apple. Yeah, we'll look at it and say, "Well, why didn't we think of that?" Right. Just like the iPhone, why didn't we think of this or mm-hmm. this? Mm-hmm. Because, well, I have seen reports that Apple's not, been working on. Yeah, I mean, and have. of course they have. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, I'm sure they are. The, the the technology is remarkable and it holds incredible promise. The two thousand dollar phones now, listen, a couple of people will buy them and say they have them. There's going to be a ton of issues and problems. The, the, the OS is going to be weird. Apps, all that. Right, other. There's a right. ton of stuff to be worked out. Right, right. But, I mean, we have two companies, two major companies that. Like created a phone that can fold. I mean, let's just revel in that for a little. How while. was it? How was it when you folded it? How did it feel? Like extra thick? You know, when you put it when you close it's it not, up. I mean, it, uh, the the main, it'll fit in the pocket. Okay, it's it's about eleven millimeters. Okay, thick, which it's thicker than thicker this, than these, but not but yeah, that awesome. much. Yeah. That's a different it, type of like the 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 Galaxy one. That looks like it's like sixteen because that's literally two phones right. on top of each other. I think that's the one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, Huawei has like the screen kind of folds out. Like, kind of like a laptop. Right. So it's very thin. It's almost like that thin. Okay. The uh, the the one side of it, and then there's like a there's like a bar <laughs> with cameras and the power button and the fingerprint sensor and all the other things kind of crammed into this one little thing. It's it's actually a pretty neat form factor. I don't know if that's like the the most ideal. I don't know. I think what's but gonna, it was it was it's a, it's a cool it's a different idea than just okay let's take this and do this it together. It. Yeah. I think what you know I was reading a piece about uh, the the issue is going to be the the screen the glass the polycarbonate yeah. the and polymer cor- uh, uh, corning. They just announced that they're working on it. Exactly, and 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 that Apple had been working with them yeah. I think on that, and I do think and that once you get that totally. issue, but I'm not sure that that issue I don't that, that issue hasn't been solved yet. No, we know no not even close, and that's that's major part of the battle here materials and how right. it feels and how or you know and that's apple's that's apple stock and trade you know right. taking aluminum and making it better aluminum right <laughs> so they'll find a way to make glass better better glass know. it's the uh, the apple but, glass you've uh, always wanted i do think that i don't think folding phones are a trend that's going to go away okay what, what was the response or did you get a sense for you know i mean I, i'm sure tech journalists like you like i if i was picking one up and and you know using it were fascinated by the technology. Did you get any sense from other people at, at MWC that uh, you know the masses are clamoring? I mean, every time I walked like by the, they were encased in glass. Yeah. For you know normies. Right. Those people. <laughs> Them. Okay. Uh, I mean, there was people Love taking. You. There were people taking pictures of it. You know, every okay. time there was a crowd of people. I tell you, when after the Huawei event, they had two or three on display in glass. Yeah. And I got to tell you, man, it was like a like a stampede. Okay. Like people almost got hurt. Okay. Like I mean, and those are all journalists. So it was like and, shades of doorbusters on uh, Black Friday. It was Friday. nuts. Like people just went cr- like, and I'm I'm thinking like, all right, it's a it's a phone. Like you, you can't even touch it. Oh, and suddenly he's cynical now. No, no, it's, it's well, just... I, I mean, I got a journal line somewhere. I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna lose lose my life over a phone. Before. You might. I don't know. You get in the, between the crowd and this thing, you might. So okay, all right. Well, I right, you know you make some good points that uh, you know the concept is what's important here. The final result from these these manufacturers and Apple and others down the road will will yeah. will be what we want. I mean, do I care about uh, 
4.6 inch screen opening up to a 7 inch screen. I mean, I don't know. But uh, I do take care out about an iPhone and going, put it away and grab going your iPad down maybe. the road. Okay. Getting something that's like a, t maybe that's too big, but maybe like a, like a 10 and a half inch screen Looking and like folding that down inch. to something that's six or so and fits in my pocket. Yep. That's okay. something that intrigues me. All right. So 5G, yeah. foldable phones, any any other technology, uh, c you know, cutting edge, edgy kinds of things that are coming that you saw there? Or were those two really the two biggies? That, that was the, those were the two that were, that were everywhere. I mean, yeah. they had a lot of like folding type of concepts that weren't really anything to speak of. Energizer had a cool thing. It was like a, like a 20 millimeter thick phone that had like an 18 milliamp hour battery in it. That was awesome. Okay. How long does that last? Like six months? <laughs> it was like a week or something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like, it was literally like this thick. It was crazy. Yep. All right. So that, that was fun. You know, a lot of those things that people write about to get to, you know, cause they're interesting, but no one's going to buy them. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, so that's a, that's a great recap. I, I mean, that's why it's important to have somebody on the ground there because you can really, yeah. you know, you get a chance to actually handle the hardware see how people are responding. And the, so. the Fold is coming out. That's No one's touched that. Yep. Samsung hasn't let anyone even like look at it, really. Yep. That's the 26th of April. So that's, that's right that's, around that's the corner. Right around the corner. So we'll see if they have another event to show off that. I, yeah, well, I want to get my hands on one of those. Yeah, I'm curious. Get, get you know, one, bring it in. So Samsung can... definitely... They're like the Apple of Android. Yeah, so agreed. they're 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 harder. At I like their design and, a lot. Yeah. Yes, very much so. So I agree. I'm curious to see you know what their what, how, how it works how you know all that other stuff. Okay, good. All right. Well, we'll revisit then. Yeah. Um, okay, Michael, I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks. for the report from Foldable World Congress. <laughs> um, for now, that's a wrap.